first, more work today for firefighters as a fire near Cheney burned five acres late this afternoon. It all happened just west of U.S. Highway 195. And tonight, KXY 4's Alec LaFreak is working for you with how you can keep your home protected. And Alex, do we know how these homes, if any of them were threatened? They were, Kylie. The fire was within a quarter mile of several houses, but most homeowners were prepared if it came any closer. They yelled fire, then um, she yelled, it's going up the tree, call 911. When Mary Ann Clute saw smoke on the horizon today, it felt like deja vu. Their house almost fell victim to the firestorm of 1991, which left one dead and over 100 homes burned to the ground. The fire burnt all of our 15 acres and up to the edge of our house and killed one of our dogs. And so he's been spending the last 25 years clearing the property, cutting down the old trees, thinning the new trees, um, trying to make this defensible. And the U.S. Fire Administration says that's a very good idea. They say the best ways to keep your home safe are to create a 30 to 100 foot defensible barrier around your property, clear all flammable vegetation, remove all dead branches that extend over the roof, and create and practice a home evacuation plan. After today's ordeal, Marianne Clute is glad her husband hasn't left their safety to chance. Every time he smells smoke, he just gets yeah, uh... really stressed, and we kind of tease him about it, but now <laughs> he was right. Spokane County fire crews had the blaze contained within hours, but with all the wildfires we've been seeing this season, implementing some of these tips is definitely a good idea. Reporting in the studio tonight, Alex LaFreese, KXLY4 News.